So the new Tatakiti model has improved in many key features that could compete strongly with Nano Banana. It can now generate cinematic images with strong details to textures. You can also access templates that could help you generate cinematic images of yourself, product images for your product, or simply restyle your pets into human. Now that is kind of funny because imagine restyling a goat to a human. But don't people really have goats for pets? Anyways, the new image model also pays proper attention to text. You can now generate images with text and no spelling error. For the few cases where I try it, it generated the images without spelling error. Let me show you how this works. Open ChatGPT and head over to images. On this interface, you're going to see try a style on an image. These are templates that you can try out. You can select any of them that is here. And if you want to see more of the templates, tap on this arrow to see other options that are available. There are many options that you can choose from. I think this is the last one that they have on the template. So when you want to use any one, simply tap on it. Tap on choose a new photo if you don't already have a photo. So I already have this one that I've recently uploaded. I'm going to tap on it. Now ChatGPT will start generating an image using the template that you selected and the reference image that you uploaded. It already generated this image prompt that it's going to use to generate your image. So you're going to give it a little time and see the image that it's going to generate. So one of the things that ChatGPT does is that it gives you two options for you to choose. Now you can select any one that meets your taste. For this video, I'm going to tap on this image too is better and then we'll have this one. But if you want, you can download both of them. It is still available for you to use. If you want to download any of them, it's quite simple. Tap on the image, tap on save and it's going to save to your device. Now let's get back to see other options that are available. And when you look here, you see some of the templates that you can use, like turn my apartment into a storybook, reimagine my pet as a human, give them a bow cut, style me, redecorate my room, create a coloring page. And like before, if you want to see more options, tap on this arrow to see other options. So let's say you want to reimagine your pets, go to reimagine my pet, tap on choose a new photo to select the image of your pet. This could be an image that you took with your phone or your camera, it doesn't really matter. ChatGPT is going to generate or reimagine your pet as a human so that you can get a feel of what your pet would look like if your pet were to be a human and as before you can see that it already has the prompt that it could use to reimagine the pet so just give it a little while and you have your result so this is the result that we have so let me tap to zoom in this is what we have and this is really cool so if that goes to be a human this is what the goat is going to look like i think it's kind of cool you might want to see what your pet looks like if your pet were to be a human. So this is the same way that you could use to create product image for your images. And if you want to do that, all you have to do is return to images. You're going to see create a professional product photo. So once you tap on it, you're going to see the option to choose a new photo where you're going to select the image of your product. And as usual, once you do that, ChatGPT is going to start generating a quality product image for your product now apart from that another thing you can do here is to generate your own image without using the template and when you look up here you see that you have the option to upload or add photos if you tap on it you'll be able to add your own photo so i'm just going to select the photo that we used before now once you've uploaded your photo describe what you want to edit about the photo or paste your prompts if you already have it copied so i'm going to paste my prompts because i already copied it and so I'm going to make some changes at the beginning because I want ChatGPT to be able to maintain the face, right? So I'm going to say, while maintaining the exact facial features, create a hyper-realistic close-up portrait of a human face captured in natural window light. So I'm going to be dropping this sample prompt and other sample prompt in the video description. So you check out the video description if you want to try out some of the prompts that I used here. So I'm going to tap here to see the result that we're going to have. So this is the result that we have and I think this is really great. It looks natural. Okay, so I think ChatGPT has really improved with, you know, adding natural details. You know, we see the pores, we see some blemishes so that it doesn't really look like it's 
AI generated. Okay, and it did maintain the image, the reference image that we included. Okay, so this is the reference image. All right, and this is the generated image. I think this is really cool. Remember that if you want to generate a different image size, remember to add it to your prompt, okay? So if you want landscape, remember to include the size of the landscape. So you either choose to generate in 16 by nine or nine by 16, depending on where you want to use or how you want to use your image. Would you be trying this new image model? Let me know in the comments.